How you doing? I'm Jeff with Jeff's Lawn Landscaping. I live here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I ended up getting uh, my mowing done today, and uh, Monday I took off uh, for the holiday, and uh, I got caught up today. Uh, a lot of it was from working uh, longer yesterday, and then, and then uh, I didn't have as long of a day today, but I ended up getting it caught up. Uh, I was wanting to kind of go over some of the things that I I look out for when I go to mow. Uh, some of the things that I was thinking of today when I was mowing. So uh, one yard when I was mowing it, um, I've been mowing this one for three or four weeks, and uh, the when you go down the side of the house the house is so close to the na the neighbors that uh, you blow grass on his sidewalk so i always make sure uh, when i get done to blow his sidewalk off and i you know i definitely don't want to end up making uh, the neighbor mad you never know when he may want you to start mowing his yard and if you make him mad uh, he probably won't be calling or he could be over on your customer uh, complaining about you and hit, and get him aggravated and you could lose the job too. Uh, another thing I was thinking is uh, behind air conditioners. Uh, sometimes you, you get behind them and uh, there's no loose wires or you know they're all kind of taped up where you can stick your weedy there and there and weedy, it's not so bad. But uh, some of the older ones uh, where the wires are sagging down there and uh, it's hard to get it in there, I, I don't uh, mess with them because you never know when you could cut a wire or something. And, and I'd rather a neighbor or a customer complain uh, about it growing up there a little bit uh, than me uh, damaging an air conditioner and have to re uh, replace it or whatever. Uh, most time when they say something, I just say, well, you may uh, um, put something back there to kill the grass out where it won't grow. Uh, but, you know, I can't be responsible if something happened in there. And uh, another thing is uh, on some of these houses where the siding goes all the way to the ground, uh, you definitely want to watch that because that weed eater line, as powerful as uh, your weed eater is, you could cut that siding up and uh, uh, there again uh, I'll go weed eat and if it's all the way to the ground I'll, I'll try to get up close to it without touching it and uh, even if it leaves uh, grass and it starts growing I've had them come out and say hey you're not you're not getting that part and you know I'll tell them hey that the siding goes all the way to the ground and I don't want to cut your siding so you need to spray something there to, to kill that out and, and like I said I'd rather rather them uh, mention that than mention that I cut their siding and uh, another thing when I go to uh, bid on a job uh, there's been times where I'll see the siding has already been damaged uh, you may end up taking a picture of it and uh, pointing that out or if you don't take a picture I mean it'd probably be good to take a picture just to you know to be your proof that you know you didn't do it um, I mean I don't know how how good that would be do but uh, a lot of times uh, if I don't take a picture I go through there and I point it out to the customer hey um, you know if you want me to mow this uh, I just want you to see this has already been damaged here uh, I don't want to start mowing it and then you think that uh, I done it. Uh, so, you know, you've got to really watch that. Sometimes, you know, you don't run into that, but I've ran into that with houses and then even sheds uh, where they'll have it all the way down there. So uh, that's some things you, you may want to check uh, and be cautious with. Um, but yeah, I just want to get on here. Uh, it's probably a short one, but uh, I'm going to try to film tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's actually my birthday, uh, but I'm going to I'm gonna try to get on here and talk a little bit. But 
I kind of got a goal. I got uh, 82 subscribers. I'd like to uh, get it to 85 before I go to bed tomorrow evening. So uh, if you uh, like channels like this and you've been watching for a little while and think about subscribing, I'd appreciate it if, uh, if you'd subscribe. Uh, I don't have very to get very many to uh, to get to that goal, but I'd appreciate it if you, like I said, if you would uh, subscribe. Uh, that'd make me feel good if I could hit hit 85. Uh, and if you already have subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit a like. It'd be nice uh, being my birthday tomorrow uh, that I get a bunch of likes on there. But uh, thanks for watching, and I appreciate if you check out some of my other videos. Thanks a lot.